Dr. Sam Reber has practiced sports medicine in the Coachella Valley for over 19 years and has earned a reputation as a caring, competent, and trusted physician. His involvement in the local sports community with young and old professional and amateur athletes is driven by his conviction that an active lifestyle is the best way to ward off the debilitating effects of diseases such as arthritis. I do mainly sports medicine, uh, knee and shoulder injuries, but a large part of my practice is involved with arthritis. STAR was a, a concept that Dr. Eber and Dr. Sin had worked together on, and um, they um, wanted a setting that was uh, focused on joint replacement, arthritis, and sports medicine. Sports medicine and arthritis does go hand in hand, more than you would think. In the past, I think doctors would say, you know, you've got a little arthritis, just stop playing golf or stop playing tennis, you know, do other things. But patients are really unwilling to accept that. And, and there's been a change in the philosophy of medicine in general um, that we want to keep people out there playing their sports and keep them active. And uh, a lot of that is dealing with some of their arthritic conditions. I was invited to come on board with Dr. Reber and his group to work in orthopedics, an area of medicine that I always loved. And when that opportunity arose, I couldn't turn it down because of the great people that were working with this facility and with the arthritis group. I'm a big believer in exercise and fitness. It's unfortunate that people have to deal with the effects of arthritis, but uh, our job is to help them cope with the, the pain and symptoms and continue to lead active, healthy lifestyles. There is no real cure for arthritis. I mean, there's some things that we can do in surgery that Dr. Reber can do. My partners do a lot of hip and knee replacements. I do a lot of shoulder replacements. And these are wonderful things. They can uh, give a patient a new lease on life. We deal with uh, all age groups. Uh, we deal with the young, AYSO, whether it be soccer players, football players, amongst other sports. We also take care of high school. The approach is to take somebody who's injured and or deconditioned from a problem and get them back to their activity as soon as possible in a safe way and that takes a little bit of science and a little bit of craft. And then we take care of other people, retired professional athletes and the everyday golfer or tennis player that needs uh, repair or care for various injuries, sports injuries. He's uh, been somebody who's donated his time towards interscholastic athletics. I know Palm Desert High School, he's made a great contribution to sports there. So he's a guy that cares. Um, so we're very active in the community, not only in the office, but we're, you know, we're seen everywhere throughout the community. First saw Sam from a distance uh, in the neighborhood, again being a, uh, a neighbor of his, and I didn't realize how tall he was. And I told him, if I could have gotten to you earlier, you know, this medical career might not have happened and you'd be playing you know, first base for the Dodgers after I would have left. <laughs> yeah, we... so, uh, underneath that cap and underneath that, that, those scrubs of his, yes, he is a fun guy to be with. Um, He's a very personable physician and a very kind personality. Dr. Reber has a wonderful bedside manner. He, um, you know, he takes time before the surgery explaining um, the surgery, the risks, the benefits. He listens well. He's um, very succinct in the way he describes what his plan of action is and that's welcomed by the family, by the patient, by clinicians like myself. And then also you see them after surgery talking to the patients and reassuring them and describing what had happened during surgery or what he did at that appointment. So he's really hands-on and very, um, very patient-friendly. Uh, I have arthritis, so I know about the uh, Arthritis Foundation. I participated in events for them. I'm kind of a, a foot soldier because of, of being somebody who has arthritis, understanding uh, there, there are many different types of arthritis. One of the reasons why I think the Arthritis Foundation is just so special, because when you see a, a youngster with arthritis and the opportunities and the changes it can make in their life uh, when they're helped by you know, a foundation like the Arthritis Foundation, it's, it's just fantastic. And so it's, it's those of us who have it who know what a great job the foundation does and, and for all the people who are uh, part of these fundraising events who do it together as a team and understand that you need a foundation uh, to be able to bring things together. Um, AF does a great job. This is a great cause and I couldn't be more behind it and uh, I'm very excited. I hope uh, all of you are out for the walk and we raise uh, as much money as possible for the foundation.
I don't think that they can uh, pick a more deserving person in terms of the uh, efforts and the commitment and the contribution to the community and activity, recreational athletes and sports. So congratulations and you are a very deserving person of this award. Congratulations, Dr. Reber. Congratulations, Dr. Reber. You deserve it. <laughs> congratulations, Dr. Reber. Sam, congratulations, and to the Arthritis Foundation, uh, I salute you and applaud you for your choice, and, and Dr. Sam Reber, uh, he's almost a man among boys in the industry, and somebody who really cares, uh, not only in the office and in the operating room, but in the community about understanding the need to give back and to, uh, to help others, so uh, you've picked the right man. He's not only an all-star, but he's a Hall of Famer to the Garveys. Congratulations, Dr. Reber, proud of you.